Spring turkey hunting has attracted more and more Michigan hunters every year. This spring, the DNR issued more than 43,000 permits through a lottery system. My permit was in Dickinson County in the UP for the first season at the end of April. Normally, this season is the best. What's the plan? Well, what we should do is we just go over and try and put this turkey decoy up and call him. And let's not, let's not uh, try and chase him too hard this morning. My guide was Gene Carollo from Iron Mountain, a former DNR Natural Resources Commissioner who loves his turkey hunting. In years past, the call of a lone hen at daybreak would have triggered a multitude of gobbles from lonely toms in this area. Local farmers have been feeding thousands of them through the winter. But the spring of 1992 was strange. Cold temperatures, a late spring, turkeys weren't gobbling or answering like usual. Gene hadn't seen nearly as many as he had in years past, but we did hear a gobble ahead of us, which was a good sign. But it almost sounded like the turkeys were moving deeper into the swamp. That wasn't a good sign. Let me set you up here. The decoy right here at this point by these trees. I'll take a walk around and I'll see what, where they are. They should be right ahead of us. About just a couple hundred yards. Yeah, I don't think they're. It's not very far down here, would you say, John? No, no. No, the, them turkeys are only within 200 yards of you. Okay. Let's try it. We tried, but the gobblers weren't interested in coming our way. You make a few calls like a lonely hen, then wait. The idea is to get the tom to gobble back and find out exactly where he is. We struck out on our first morning and Gene said he didn't understand that there were plenty of turkeys around when the snow was on the ground, but except for occasional flocks out in the farm fields, they weren't showing themselves this spring. Now this isn't normal, because the end of April is the beginning of nesting time and turkeys are usually quite busy by now. The next day, we tried a number of locations, and finally under this bluff from a quarter of a mile away, Gene spotted a single gobbler walking towards the woods. We worked our way around to where the bird ducked into cover, and we could hear it gobbling as it went. I'd call, it would gobble, but it would continue to walk into the deeper woods. Gene put the decoy out by the edge in the clearing, and I hunkered down in a natural hiding spot. We both listened as the only tom we saw that morning was also the only tom that we heard, and we began looking at 4.30 a.m. when it was still dark. That was a big tom, but it was gone. For most hunters, that was turkey season 1992. Top them back. Yeah. But it's getting farther away all the time. I would never go so far as to say that it was a disappointing turkey season because just being out there, being able to hunt is always a real treat. But Gene talked to a local guide up there who always does well turkey season, and he was coming up dry. I think he got one turkey in the first two weeks. He was perplexed. We talked to hunters downstate, found out that turkeys weren't responding to the calls down there. So I had the conclusion, and this continued throughout the season, that it was a really slow turkey season compared to normal. But then I picked up the paper last Sunday in our local area, and I saw a quote here about turkey season from the DNR turkey specialist. He said, I think we still harvested over 10,000 birds. 10,000 birds. That would make 1992 a record season. So I wanted to find out where in the world did this number come from. Charlie Keenan, you're our SOS Bureau Director. I asked you to, to get on this. Call John Urbane at the DNR and find out if we could get an interview with him so he could explain where this 10,000 number came from. Well, I did that. I gave him a call, and uh, John said that he'd be happy to come on a program, but he wanted to wait until after the postcard survey was done. And when is that? That's going to be in August. Oh, in August. So we can't really find out about this until August. No, that's correct. Oh, wonderful. Where, where do you suppose this 10,000 number came from? Where did he get well, that? Well, John said it was a, a guesstimate. They were 
trying to put all their figures together the best they could. It was a guesstimate. <laughs> they just guessed. So they're, you know, I hate to be this way, folks. It seems like I'm always picking at the DNR and picking at their numbers. But for crying out loud, anybody who was out there realizes that it was a slow turkey season. The 10,000 number, I think it's another election year deal is what I felt. So I, I ran a test. I checked our hunting award entries from our Outdoors Club hunting awards this year in the turkey division, and I found out that compared with this time last year, we're 17% behind. I had Kathy Beitler call 10 taxidermists who normally take in quite a few turkeys, found out they were down 40% this year compared with last year. So, Charlie, it looks from those statistics like this year wasn't nearly as good. Yeah, but we, we have to figure the economy in there for the taxidermists, though. Okay, we're getting all these numbers from the government, right? That's right. We have our president telling us that the economy is fine. It's really on the rebound. It's a lot better than we think. And now we have the DNR telling us the turkey season was really a lot better than we thought of. Record setter. It'd be nice <laughs> to be able to believe what you read. <laughs> it, it would be. We will continue, folks, to bring you on Michigan Outdoors, the other side of the story behind these statistics. Um, we'll find out in August, maybe, but I don't think the turkey season was all that great. There won't be the interest in August in it. Yeah, well, anyway, we'll, we'll move on right now to what we know is a great venison recipe.